हाउ टू कवर ई एन टी एंड ऑफ था फॉर एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन नीट पी जी आई एन आई एंड एफ एम जी हाई फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर शिकेश एंड आई हैव सिक्योर्ड अ रैंक ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टीन इन दिस या नीट पी जी एग्जाम दिस वॉज माई इंटरन अटैम्प्ट एंड इन दिस वीडियो ओनली आई विल कवर ई एन टी एंड ऑफ था द इनफ रिसोर्सेज सिक्वेंसिस एंड सम ऑफ माई टिप्स दैट आई यूज ड्यूरिंग माई प्रिपरेशन फेज दैट विल हेल्प टू इम्प्रूव योर रैंक डू लिसन टू दीज एट टू टेन मिनट्स till the end of the video and you will get a proper idea to cover this subject also in the end i will share my telegram channel id where i share some of my important pdfs that help to improve your rank first of all friends we will see the weightage of these two subjects in the entrance examination in neat pg as well as i9 from ofta and ent section around 6 to 8 questions are asked and a total of around 15 questions are asked from these two subjects and you can do your first read in around one week for these subjects because the level of the questions from these subjects are easy to moderate in most of the question papers so do a lot of uh, time period of a week for these two subjects for your first read now friends coming to the sources and sequences first we will see the ent section and for ent the best approach is you do the rapid revision of either marrow or prep ladder both are equally good i have done the rapid revision of prep ladder dr vaishnavi ma'am and after that i did the superficial read of btr and bonus ptr of ent section by zenavora ma'am because when you do the read of btr and bbtr basically some of the uh, points some of the concise points are not present in rapid revision so do add these points to your rapid revision notes you have to read superficially uh, the btr section after reading the rapid revision most of the content is present in btr only so you have to extract the points that are not present in uh, rapid revision and add those points in your rapid revision notes now friends after making your concise notes from these sources the rapid revision and btr read you are going to practice mcqs and for mcqs you have to do only the previous year questions don't attempt the uh, main question bank you will surely deviate from your path of entrance examination and for pyqs purpose do the 5 uh, year pyqs of neat pg and fmg if you are targeting neat pg and if you are targeting ini first do the 5 year previous year questions of ini both shifts and then do the last 10 years if you have still time left then do the neat pg questions and you have to do the previous year questions with explanation and make your concise mcq notes i have made a detailed video how to make mcq concise notes you can either check the channel or check the description box you will get an idea how to make these notes these notes will help you to uh, avoid your silly mistakes and revise in a more easy way and quickly when you revise next time also friends to evaluate yourself do the custom modules and use the tags of aims neat pg and fmg and try to mix two subjects when you are doing the custom modules and try to mix the topics in this way more number of mixed questions will be coming in front of you as the examination will be of mixed questions not a subject specific so you have to do the custom modules using the tags of aims neat pg and fmg and when you are done with these three things in sequence the notes the practice and the evaluation you are mostly done with your ent preparation and surely you are going to do 85 to 90% questions correct or even more in your main examination now friends coming to the ofta section and for ofta section there are lot of images that are asked in ofta section and for practicing that for revising that the best content that is available uh, right now in a quick time is the dr neha one shot of thermology session uh, that is freely available on youtube you can watch it and extract maximum benefit from it it is around 5 hours duration freely available on youtube by e gurukul ma'am uh, dr neha and you should watch this and take the screenshot of the um, images that are coming and make a pdf of it because mostly the images of these uh, pictures that are shown by ma'am are asked in the examination and you have to revise these multiple times also some of the theory content is also taught by ma'am in that session only and that is a proper example of a quick revision for ophthalmology and you have to do that source and after doing that you have to revise your btr and bbtr do a superficial read and add some of the points that are present in btr in your uh, dr neha ma'am uh, or you can do the vice versa you you can watch the dr neha ma'am and add the some of the images after clicking them and add it in your main btr notes this way you are going to make your concise of the 
notes that are best for your entrance examination as I did and most of the question will be coming from these two sources only and you are going to deliver in exams mostly the correct questions and as usual friends after doing this content of theory you have to practice MCQs in the same way as you did for ENT basically you have to do the PYQs for NEET PG both NEET PG and FMG for INA first do the 5 years and then do the 10 years and for evaluation you do the uh, subject wise test or in the grand test you are going to see the OPTA sections so in this way you are going to revise the whole OPTA as well as um, ENT section in a week only you have to give a target of a week and cover these two subjects that are basically short or intermediate sort of subjects because only 6 to 8 questions from each section are asked making a total of 15 questions and make notes of around 50-50 pages of these two subjects and revise them in only one day when you are in the last phase of your revision that is last two weeks that I did and in this way you are going to complete all your syllabus before your examination so this should be your approach for these two subjects ENT and OFTA the sources I have told the sequences I have said and what should be your the number of revision is basically you can revise at least three times and make your concise notes so that you can revise in last uh, two weeks in minimum of one day and friends after covering the main content basically these two sources you are going to revise your previous year courses basically to practice the MCQs you are going to do the previous year courses only for the intern and post intern and uh, use the tags of NEET PG, INI and FMG if you are solving the custom modules and try to mix the subjects mix these two subjects because in the exam you are going to get the mix questions not subject wise because when you do subject wise questions you get an idea of the answer so friends these two subjects ENT and OFTA you have to cover them in one week only uh, basically these are short to intermediate subjects uh, covering around 15 questions and try to cover them in one week only and when you do your successive read try to cut down the time to half of the first time basically you have to reduce the time to complete these sources in your successive read and try to recall maximum fact from your previous read either by writing on a separate paper or rewinding in your mind and if you are not able to uh, recall any fact highlight that fact in your notes and try to focus on those points in your successive read this will help to enhance your memory for these volatile topics for you and try to maximize your rank in your main examination and in this way uh, by covering these sources you will have your around 100 pages notes of ENT and OFTA around 50 pages for each of the subject and you are going to cover these two subjects in one day only in last of the, in last two weeks of your preparation because the uh, the last two weeks of your preparation is very important you have to cover all your syllabus and for ENT and OFTA try to give one day only and covering from these sources and making your notes in your first read and at least three revision you are definitely going to revise in one day only and make maximum questions correct in your entrance examination this is all for this video friends hope you now get an idea how to cover these two subjects for your entrance examination if still any doubt is left in your mind you can comment in the comment section or message me uh, on my telegram channel or my insta id the link is in the description box we will meet in another video and thanks for watching this video till the end do share and subscribe the channel if you like the content goodbye